we are still asking you to stay with us till this we win this fight. We are all Stella. 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 All Stella. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is now only a Stella Toro uh, workers fight. This is the working class fight. So we need the, the Stella Toro, the company, to stay here in the Bronx. This being for so many years part of the Bronx, so we deserve to stay here. And Primal Partners know that uh, the employees from Stella Toro, they know how to work, how, they know how to make the cookies. We proved it to them for 11 months that they couldn't make it without us. Okay, I want everybody in there to get what I got in 30 years. Education for my family, vacation, and a decent living. I believe everybody deserves that as a union member and to keep this union here strong. And to get rid of these capitalists because this, this, this is like a, a disease that's spreading. This has got to stop. August 13 was one year from the day we went out on strike. And most of you know the reasons why we went out. We went out because Brainwood Partner Group wanted to take so much from us. It was impossible for us to stay in there and work. That's why we make that decision then. And what happened, we went to, uh, we complained to the Labor Board, we make a complaint, we win the decision, we went back inside. As Soon as we went back inside, they tell us they close in 90 days. So before we, we really uh, uh, get the, the feeling like we win, we, they tell us we close in 90 days. But this is just the beginning. We're gonna keep doing it till these people find a buyer or whatever they're gonna do and keep the plan open. We're not gonna allow them to close the plan and take off, okay? So, what's disgusting? Union busting, okay? We're not, let it, we're not gonna let them bust our union. My name is Calvin William. I'm from Local 50. I'm the Secretary of Treasurer. I would just like to take a couple of moments just to thank each and every one of y'all for your strong support. It takes everybody to get something done. You know, not only the workers in Salvador, but the support group in the community, all the different locals, and everybody. I would like to thank the Salvador workers like I always do. We had 130 something people in Salvador and not one crossed the picket line. And, and we have never, in all my years of being in the union, working the bakery and everything else, you always have some that will cross the picket line. The only time people walk through that gate when they went all went back in together. We're here, I represent the 22,000 faculty and staff at City University of New York. And we've been standing in admiration of and solidarity with these workers throughout their struggle because they provide an example to all of us at a time when too many unions and too many workers are getting the message, okay, it's an economic downturn, unions have to make concessions. No, we don't. We did not create this downturn. We did not share in the profits when it was an upturn and we should not make concessions to sustain it. I represent NYSEP. If you look on the poster over there when you had your big rally, many, many union members from all across the state were here. We have 600,000 members who haven't purchased a single Stelladoro product in over a year. Um, assistant business manager, Mr. Luis Restrepo. A round of applause, thank you. I bring greetings from our business manager, Chris Harrison. He wanted me to relate the message that we're not gonna let these bastards do what Reagan did to control us in the United States. They are controllers. We're not gonna let them. People like the people that we have here today that are managing this company are the same people that put us out of business in the finance system, in the real estate system. Don't forget the Labor Day Parade. Stella Dora will have a large contingent in the front leading the parade. We want everyone out there sending the same message we're sending today. No closure, no concessions. I am here representing 125,000 members of the Westchester Putnam Central Labor Body who had, for all those months, uh, 
boycotted the uh, Stella Doro, as well as over 300,000 members from 1199 SCIU United Healthcare Workers East. Estamos aquí para informarle que estamos en solidaridad con los trabajadores de Stella Doro y que le damos nuestra continua um, promesa de respaldar la lucha que estamos teniendo. La lucha aún continúa. The people united. El pueblo unido. God is telling you, you want me to stay here and do not allow to close this factory or this plant. So you need to help me to do it. And the way we're going to do it is, you have to be willing to sacrifice something. And we know the laugh from all of you. Close to 11 months, you were standing here challenging all kind of crazy things just to get your job back inside of this building. And now they're coming out with something else. I want to introduce Clarence Thomas from the ILWU Local 10, the International Longshore Warehouse Union. He's a local executive board member and co-chair of Port Workers May Day Organizing Committee. I present to you Clarence Thomas. I want you to say it loud enough so the Brentwood bloodsuckers will hear you. No concessions, no closure. No concessions, no closure. We must do whatever it takes to make sure that this plant is not shut down. We can look to what happened with Republic Windows and Doors in Chicago, where they took over the plant. Look to the action that the ILWU took on May 1st, 2008, when we shut down all of the West Coast for eight hours to protest and resist the war in Iraq and Afghanistan on International Workers' Day. You, the Stella Doro workers, are the heroes of the entire labor movement and all the community in New York City because we cannot allow speculators who have no investment in this uh, plant to steal the investment of the workers. The real investors are the workers who have invested their entire lives into this job. They've worked here for 10 and 20 and more years. Isn't that the real investors? Isn't it the real investors, the community, that, sh that shopped and bought the Stella Doro uh, uh, cookies all these years? Those are the real investors. This is a community asset. And they, for their own speculative reasons, they want to make a buck. They're willing to destroy a whole community, destroy workers' lives. The bailout bailed out the speculators, but they left the workers and the community out. And today and every day, more people are being laid off, plants are closing, and you see on TV, the recession's over. They want to cool your anger. They want to tell you it's all okay. Don't come out for Stella Doro. But I say to Stella Doro and to the labor movement, you don't have a movement without movement. You're in motion. That makes you the leaders of the labor movement of the biggest labor city in this country. You are leading a struggle of the entire labor movement and the community in New York. You are the movement and we have to join you as soon as we can go down to our community groups and our, our delegate meetings, our membership meetings of every unit and get on the floor and say, how much money are you giving to this struggle? How many of our members are showing up at the rallies? That is what we have to do to make this struggle win. Because we're in a struggle and we have no alternative. We must win. The workers went back on July 7th and they were so strong going back into the factory. They said, they chanted, we are Stella. 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 We are all Stella. We are all Stella. What? 
this fight means to us in New York is that a victory for the stellar Doro workers is a victory for all of us. That's why we're here. We know it in our bones. A job is a right. A job is a right. We are Stella. We are all Stella. We are all Stella. We are all Stella. We are all 